Did you know that even Muslims are not protected from the violence of Islam? If they don't hold the right beliefs or behave the right way, they too can become victims of this so-called religion of peace. We mentioned something about the fact that Islam can actually antagonize its own followers and we use al-munafiqun or al-munafiqin depending on how uh, you decline it of course in a sentence uh, grammatically speaking that were mentioned in chapter 9 in particular of the Quran surah al-bara'a or the uh, at-tawbah uh, that that uh, you know uh, basically forgiveness <laughs> there is no forgiveness in there trust me on that uh, all that to say is that uh, there is a mocking and an attack against Muslims, not against, uh, uh, you know, non-Muslims. So if you want to elaborate further on that. Exactly. In chapter number nine, verse number 73, Jahyu al-Nabi, Jahidul kuffar wal munafikin fight or jihad against the disbelievers and the hypocrites. But at the same time, I actually gave the definition of the munafikin from chapter number three of the Quran, and there I said verse number 161. That was verse number 167 where it gives the explanation and who is the monafic. And it says, and expose the hypocrites when it was said to them, come fight in the cause of Allah or at least defend yourself. They reply, if we had known there was fighting, we would have definitely gone with you. But, you know, no, go ahead, and, Adam. And this is very important. Repeat again. Why were they called hypocrite? Repeat it again, please. Because they were asked to go for jihad or do at least a defense. There you go. That's, they're called hypocrite. How many Muslims out there tell you that jihad is just really overblown out of proportion by ISIS and Al-Qaeda? And this verse is telling them they are what? Hypocrite because they are refusing what these people are doing. Exactly. And if we look at my screen right now, there is Sunan Nisai 3097. It says, whoever dies without having fought or thought of fighting, he dies on one of the branches of hypocrisy. Yes. Absolutely. So for a Muslim believer, for a Muslim believer, if you cannot fight, you need to at least have mindset of fighting these kuffar. Otherwise, you are a hypocrite. And not only that, I mean, uh, the Quran actually talk, talks about in, in chapter 3 and chapter 9 and many other places that jihad or striving physically uh, and financially are equal in its reward. In other words, you support those who are willing to go and fight. And that's why during the ISIS reign, many people ended up leaving, but others were supporting him either by internet, you know, technology, finances, phones, you name it, cars, uniforms, because they knew that there is a reward for them that is equal to those who are willing to die for the cause of Allah. Exactly. And for that, I would ask all the Muslims in the world to read chapter number nine from verse number 49 to verse number 73. Imagine all these Muslims who says, hey, context, context. What is the context? What is the context? So I'm not giving you one verse. I'm giving you 28 over 28 verses. Now you can't ask me to give me context. Chapter number nine, verse number 49 to verse number 73. And I've used it many times without a doubt if you can't even go to war physically donate money donate money and you know for munafikin if they are munafik even their money will not be accepted al fadi that's written in quran as well because they are bad people that is true that is true. and in fact as a munafik you are treated probably worse than even Murtad because you are still in the community, but you're double-faced, technically speaking. This is why, as I mentioned last time, uh, brother, you can add to that, one of ISIS's main victims were the Muslims, actually, in Raqqa and in other parts of Syria because they refused to join them, they refused to support them, they refused to even agree with their ideology, and they ended up being the victims either by uh, mass shootings or uh, displacement or uh, finding, you know, excuses to execute them publicly to basically terrorize all the other Muslims and force them. Either you are with us or against us. Absolutely, brother. And that's why 953 says, say to the people, right, 
whether you donate willingly or unwillingly it will never be accepted from you for you have been rebellious people you are the munafiq so that's why i did not give like just one verse but rather multiple verses of quran for the people to learn and understand because i want them to get out of the curse of the muftis maulanas and the scholars and i ask them to read it by yourself that is why many of the people are leaving islam when they read islam from their own book by themselves and that's happening in india and pakistan so much it's unbelievable right now amen and uh, by the way i mean speaking of the east and the west uh, i i i don't mean anything by this you're from pakistan but 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 brother if if i look at the way pakistani muslims are behaving especially and uh, you and i did talk about the blasphemy against muhammad it is so much to extreme that i don't even think i've seen it before even in saudi why is that? What do you think? I mean, I, I have my own theories as to why, but I just wanted to hear from you. Wow, that's a good question. Nobody asked me this question ever again because they love Muhammad more than their parents and their children because that's what Hadith is, brother, quite frankly. But, you know, there's an extent of loving Muhammad. The extent of which, I wanted to show it later, but because you brought it up, so let's do it this time and uh, let's just do it. I will show you something, what kind of love they have for Muhammad and for what thing they can kill another Pakistani. It's like a two minute video, three minute video. Uh, let's play. Watch. I mean, uh, just uh, uh, it, does it have anything that we need to warn our viewers about? Sorry. Does it have anything graphic that we need to warn our viewers about? Uh, absolutely not, brother. Okay, I just, just I want to make clear, sure. No. Yeah. I was very, very, I was very, very cautious about doing that. I edited that part. So let me play that again. I'm sorry about this. And maybe you could give us uh, some background here about what's going on in this video. Okay, we're going to hear you, by the way, if you're saying anything, Adam. Oh, you guys can't hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. So what are you pointing to? Oh, so this video, the voice is not there? Yeah. When but, I was uh, playing the video, there was no voice? That's right. There is no voice. But you can give us uh, some uh, background. Oh, I am so sorry. Okay, so this guy in the video right now that you can see, mm -hmm. this guy just committed a murder. He committed a murder of another human being in Pakistan. This guy is a guard in a bank. Mm -hmm. He had an argument with another branch manager. You know what the argument was? The argument was if Muhammad is muhtaj or is he not a muhtaj? Means is he dependent? are not dependent on humans or anybody else. Mm -hmm. They had this kind of a discussion for a few days and this guy became angry. So angry that he took out his gun and shot the branch manager. Mm -hmm. While shooting the branch manager, after shooting the branch manager, this is how many people that you can see are following him to the police station and then he is addressing on top of the police station this is police station Kaidabad. this is the name of the city this is police station Kaidabad. our police stations are like castles he is standing on the wall of the police station he's a hero addressing the people yeah he's like a hero he is a hero and over i don't know 10,000 people, you can see over 10,000 people right now in front of the police station, right? This is a police station far over there. These are people who are there. So I want to ask my Muslim friends, especially those from Pakistan, especially those who are living in the UK, because I get a lot of love letters from Pakistanis in the UK, by the way, a lot. Uh, I mean, Pakistani Muslims love what I do to the point that they are always 
trying to hack my channel and send me love letters and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So my question to you is this. If you're promoting to us that Islam is a religion of peace and it promotes equal human rights, please explain to me why would a murderer be celebrated right now and even the police is allowed to be at the rooftop giving a speech? Very good question. But let me tell you why is he giving a speech. If he will not give the speech and if he will not calm the people, they will blast open the doors of the police station, kill all the police guys who are actually humans to get him out of there. That's why he is allowed to stand on the wall of the police station and address the people. That's the reality of Islam, brother, right so here. What happened uh, after that? He will be taken to jail and just go through a, an emotional trial and that's it. Probably. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Brother, that's it. You know how many cases happens in a month in Pakistan? If I will just show you one quarter report of last year, let me show you a report of one single quarter of yeah, and, 2021. And, and then maybe we'll, we'll wrap up this one after that report and let's tell people as a teaser what should we expect next, uh, should we, uh, expect next time. Exactly. So this is the incident report of the killing in Pakistan because of blasphemy. You know how many killings are there? This is the incident chart which are reported in police, physical violence, forced conversions, blasphemy allegations on two nurses, beaten, discrimination, physical and violence. Rape. I can read rape many times. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, multiple rape, multiple rape vi victims. And I have done many live streams uh, in my channel as well on that. Multiple rape victims, that's what the uh, forced conversions, forced marriages, physical violence is. This is just quarter two of 2021 last year. And these are reported cases. These are the cases which are reported and have police report. 27 reported cases in just quarter two of 2021. So imagine how many cases are unreported, Brother Al-Fadi. You know in Pakistan, there are so many small villages, small towns where the cases never gets reported. Of course, of course. And uh, it, it is a form of honor killing, by the way, uh, any way you look at it. But uh, it's all for the sake of a man who has been dead for 14 centuries, and in, indeed, I'm going to use the Pakistani term muhtaj, which is in Arabic meaning needy or dependent in this case. He is a dependent. No one can protect him except when you have mobs everywhere, and not just in Pakistan, anywhere, everywhere, you have people basically ganging up against someone, sometimes even misunderstood what they mean by it, or in this case, the branch manager probably is having just an intellectual dialogue, reasoning with a person, wasn't even insulting Muhammad. He was just asking questions, interacting with a person that was taken negatively, and his life was basically wasted on account of that. And he was a Muslim, brother. He uh, was that's a Muslim. what I mean, exactly. We're not talking even a non-Muslim. Well, thank you, brother, for this. What should people expect us to talk about so, next time? Today we talked about Munafik and Muslims. Next time we were going to talk about the ones who actually leave Islam. Right. And, and I just want to, since the topic is about East and West, I guarantee you none of this that you just showed us in Pakistan would have happened in the West because Islam will present itself totally different. That, you know, hey, it's okay. We use the law and we use lawyers. Why? Because oftentimes it, the Islamic community is still a minority. But it will happen in the future when it becomes dominant or predominant or a majority. Very well said, brother. Absolutely very well said. And that's why they want Sharia. That's why they are asking for Sharia. Exactly. Again, uh, this is Al Fadi here in studios with us here virtually, our dear brother Adam Seeker. And we are really speaking to you, our Muslim friends, to kindly watch what we're talking about. Here is, you know, a, a former Muslim from Pakistan. And you could say, well, Adam Seeker doesn't speak Arabic. He does speak Arabic, by the way. And his Arabic is amazing. But I am an Arab from Saudi. Okay. So listen to both of us. We're telling you. You want salvation? Jesus is the answer. You want eternal life? Jesus is the answer. You want peace? Jesus is the answer. You want freedom of religion? Jesus is the answer. You won't find it anywhere else. He's a full, basically, package. Anything you hope for, you can get it and attain it through Jesus Christ. But we are hoping for is that you will attain eternal life because only in Christ you are saved and you will be 
back to life. Even if the body dies, you are assured of that eternal salvation. Thank you, brother. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This is Al-Fadi over and out. God bless. Take care. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And ring the bell so you will be notified when we release new content. Our mission is to reach Muslims with the gospel of Jesus Christ and help Christians engage with their Muslim neighbors. If you want to join us in this life-changing work, please support us on patreon.com forward slash International or just click on the link below.